this is a tutorial on a coding app called Scratch Junior. With Scratch Junior, young children, even as young as kindergarten, can program their own interactive stories and games. Um, in the process, they can learn to solve problems, they can design their own projects, and they can express themselves really creatively on the iPad. All right, I'm going to show you a few different aspects of this app that you will be using for coding. Uh, right here at the top, this is your home button. This is where you can save your current project and exit back to the home screen. Right in the center of the app, this is called your stage. This is where the action takes place in your project. And to delete a character, you simply just press and hold it. And then a little X pops up. All right, back to the top, um, you have your presentation mode. This is where you can go to expand the stage to be full screen. Then to the right, this is your grid where you can toggle on and off the X and Y coordinate grid. This is really helpful when you start um, creating your script for what you want your character to do. All right, back up to the top, you have your uh, background. There are several different options that you can choose from. Um, when choosing, you just tap on it and then press the check mark right up at the top. And to make your grid go off, you just click right here. All right, then to the right of the background, you have your ad text. This is where you can write titles and labels on the stage. Uh, then you have your reset characters. Um, this resets them back to their starting position for the stage. The screen button is really important. Um, it's gr the green flag starts all programming scripts. That begin with a start on green flag block, and you just tap here. Right here, this is your pages, uh, where you can select the pages in your project or tap the plus sign to add a new page. Um, each page has its own set of characters and a background, and to delete a page, just press and hold it. Um, and to reorder the pages, you drag them to their new position. All right, in the top right-hand corner, this yellow area, this is your project information area. Um, and this is where you can go to change the title of the project and see when the project was created. Uh, if you go directly down, you have your undo and redo button. This area right here where you see all of the blocks, this is really important. This is actually your coding. This is your, pr it's called your programming script. Um, you snap blocks together to make a programming script, telling the character what to do. You tap anywhere in a script to make it run. To delete a block or script, you just drag it outside the programming area. To copy a block or script from one character to another, just drag it onto the character's thumbnail. Um, this area down below where your programming script is, this is called your programming area. And this is where you connect programming blocks to create scripts. Up here, right above your programming script, you have your blocks palette. This is the menu of programming blocks. You can drag a block onto the program area, then tap on it to see what it does. Then to the very left, this is called your block categories. Um, this is where you can select a category of programming blocks. The yellow is called the triggering blocks. Um, this green flag is really important because this is what tells um, the stage to begin um, moving your character based on whatever um, script you have. Then to the right you have your motion. So if I wanted my frog to jump again I would simply just drag um, the different blocks down below and then I could press the green flag and it would show me exactly what my frog is doing. If I'm not happy with it what you do um, is you just drag it back up and it deletes it. All right, um, the purple will change your character, uh, what it looks like. You can make it larger, smaller. Uh, you can actually add different sounds. You can record yourself um, adding sounds. Uh, the orange is your control button, and then your red is your end button. All right, and then, Right above that, you have your characters. Um, you can select among the characters in your project or tap the plus sign to add a new one. Once the character is selected, you can edit its scripts, tap its name to rename it, or tap the paintbrush to edit its image. Um, to delete a character, press and hold it. 
and to copy a character to another page, just drag it to the page thumbnail. Um, again, if I wanted to add a character, I would just press this plus button and then I can choose whichever character I am interested in. I choose this butterfly. You can add it. Um, if I want it to be a different color, I just press on that paintbrush and then I can choose uh, what color I would like it to be. I think I can actually change it a little bit. I'm happy with that. And once you're happy, you just click the plus. Alright, in order to get this butterfly to move, the first thing you have to do, you need to make sure you always go um, to this yellow triggering blocks button and add a green flag. Without that green flag, it will not move. And then um, I'm going to go to this blue button and maybe I want it to fly over and then up, over and then up. Um, if I want it to go over more times, I can just change the number. Um, I am going to show you what it looks like without having the, the green flag. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. And as you can see, the frog moves, but the butterfly does not move. That's because I didn't have a flag. So I need to go ahead and go to the flag, add it, and then it should make my butterfly and my frog move at the same time. Um, I hope this tutorial helps you in understanding Scratch Junior a little bit more. I think the kids will really enjoy it. And I encourage you to take the time to explore it and um, see what you like about it. If you have any questions, please ask Bonnie or myself. All right, have a great afternoon.